I think at Thank You, we do wrestle with stuff, and I think we all do, but we do find it hard to unsee things. And there was a particular study that we read years ago, must have been four years, five years ago, Open Road Alliance. And they had done this huge survey of the nonprofit community. And they came back and they talked about 46% of issues that nonprofits face come from the donor. I thought I was reading fake news. I didn't quite. And, and, and then 4% came from theft, you know, some of the issues around theft and corruption, to which, in my mind, and I would say the general consumer mind, it's like, but isn't corruption the biggest issue? And, and when we looked deeper into this study and, and spoke to many people in the sector, we realized, wow, yeah, we tick every box um, unintentionally. I mean, I, I think anyone who gets into giving gets into it to do good. Um, and so I don't think anyone's got the wrong intentions, but it's interesting how money um, and power can play out. Um, the best analogy that landed the donor dysfunction for me was this simple idea of take medicine as a, as a profession you know, if, if let's say when needed heart surgery and, you know, you know, I said, I'll pay for it, which would be very generous. Um, and I'd like to think I'd do it, but so, okay, when I'll pay for it, it would be weird for me to then tell the heart surgeon, Hey, it's my money. So here's how I want you to do the surgery. And here's, here's what I want. And, and in medicine, we would say, well, no, 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 no. We let them do that bit and you, you get to pay for it. Um, in, in business, often, you know, you take public markets and, and, and investing in companies. Yes, you can buy shares in the company, but you can't call up and say, no, I, I don't want any of my specific money to go to marketing. I don't want my specific money to do this, or I, I only want it to go to ideas that will work and not fail. You go to philanthropy. We're telling everyone how we want the money spent, where it can go, can't go. Again, a lot of it comes from a really good place, um, which is, I can help. And, and sometimes there's absolute truth in that. But I think the donor dysfunction comes out of that overbearing, overreaching reality. And one of the real challenges in the nonprofit sector is it's almost in the dark ages when you look at the innovation in the sector compared to for-profit or medicine. And, and, and some of these things are light years away at scale and innovation. And so I think part of the, the donor dysfunction is really going back to this idea of trust. Um, and, and how does a, you know, a donor and someone who's giving, first of all, believe in the vision, the mission and the team behind it. There's got to be a core competency. There's got to be a strength in that team. But then how do you give unrestricted? So, hey, we'll back you, your team, your plan. And then ultimately, there's still accountability in this. So it's not about letting go of accountability. It's probably just letting go of, of some micromanaging in the process. 